Hello! It's me. Today is it's Janine. Today is <clears throat> ahem. Today is Monday, September 8th. And I'm here for an update. Welcome to my life. You should put on my glasses. Welcome to my life. Yes, I'm being stupid. Alright. <sighs> Doing a lot of changing lately. A lot. And of course I've got coffee. And it's 9.45 at night. <laughs> I don't fuck around. I'm in New York, I don't fuck around. Um, doing a lot of changing lately. And, uh, shit's been changing left and right. Just, it doesn't feel fast, but every time I take a look back at, like, the last couple weeks or even a month, I'm noticing changes that are just profound. No? The bullying that happens in my own house toward me. I'll give you some examples. I, uh, I don't even want to talk about it because it just upsets me, but long story short, my, you know, my sister, the favoritism that goes on. I'm sorry, allergies are killing my eyes. My eyes are just so itchy. Um, <clears throat> you know, my sister is the favorite child because she's the squeaky wheel. I'm the good child that puts up with everything so I can be pushed to the side and ignored because, you know, no matter how they treat me, I'll always be me. Anyway, we're at the dinner table tonight. We get done with dinner. And always after dinner, I make my mom tea. And me and my mom just sit at the table, and I have my coffee, and she has her tea. And me and my mom just bullshit. And, uh, Mike and Ike's. Shut up. Don't judge. I want something sweet. Anyway. So... Me and my mom were sitting down and bullshitting. And she starts telling me about some cleaning product she saw on TV. Whatever this cleaning product is. I don't know what it is. She didn't tell me what it was called. She told me it was some Amish shit. You rub on wood. And it cleans the wood. I don't know. She tells me she wants me to go pick her up a bottle. My mom is partially disabled. She can barely stand up on her own. She uses a walker to get around the house. What the hell is she thinking? She's going to get a bottle. So I said to her, What, are you going to use that? She goes, yeah. And I said, what are you going to use that on? She said, the den. I'll use it on the, on the doors in the den. And I said, Mommy, you can't stand up. How are you going to use that? And my cogs in my head are going, you're not going to be able to use that. We're going to have a bottle of cleaner in the house. I'm going to have to pick up your slack. End result, I will be using the bottle of cleaner you want me to buy for you. Therefore, you're opening up a door for a cleaning project for me. Thanks, Mommy. So, <clears throat> I say something that pisses her off by saying to her, Mommy, you're not going to be able to do that. You can't stand up. You're going to hurt yourself. She stops talking. Mommy always goes into silent treatment when she gets upset. And I lean into my book. And... 
because my dad was in the next room, I don't want to open a can of worms by voicing this. I just wanted to tell mommy. So I wrote to mommy what I'm going to read you. I said, cleaning was something that I did constantly because I had OCD as a result of my surgery. After that, I did it because I was trying to get appreciation. Well, that didn't work. Though we might like this stuff you want, having cleaning stuff will open some more cleaning projects for me in an environment that has no appreciation for me. I don't want it and won't do it. I love you. So I wrote that to Mommy and I handed Mommy the book for Mommy to read it and Mommy shook her head and I said, makes sense? And she said, yeah. And that was that. So what I just did is I curbed some bullying. Mommy was trying to muscle her way into getting me to clean cabinet doors in the den. She doesn't even stand up. What the hell does she care if the cabinet doors in the den aren't perfect? Suck it up, sweet cheeks. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just tired of wiping everybody else's ass. You know what I mean? Like, I got this quote, I found this quote and I posted it on my Facebook page. And I absolutely loved it. And it says, a person who feels appreciated will always do more than what is expected. And that quote was like, duh. And another one that I have not posted on my Facebook page, but that I stole from somebody was, people never understand what you do for them until you stop doing it. So true. I hate that I have to leave this house to have my family understand what I do for them and to get some appreciation. How is that okay? I hate it. So, Another change that I've made is that I'm not going to, I stopped trying to adjust this environment. I'm done. I'm done trying to renovate. my home environment. I'm finished. No more renovation for me. I've gutted the place. I've put up new walls. I've taken down old walls. I've redone the bathroom. Put in new floors. Nothing's changing no matter what the hell I do. To the environment of home that I live in. Instead, I'm going to leave it. I'm done. On, I believe it is October 7th, oh mama s'il vous plaît, oui, on October 7th, um, I see my epileptologist and I'm going to double check with her and see what she says about me moving out and in with Tristan. And uh, 
I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. I haven't told my parents um, that that's what I'm going to do. But I'm 99.9% .9 sure that's what's going to happen. I can't imagine my epileptologist saying no. But I do want to run it by her. Because um, she's kind of... <laughs> it's kind of funny. She's almost like a life coach. Um, I love this woman. I love her. So, uh... I'm going to um, run it by her first and see if she's okay with it. So we'll see um, what she says. She's okay with it. Peace out. Peace. Um, Cause I can't, I can't handle this anymore. I can't handle the way they live. I can't handle how they treat me. I can't handle their wacko priorities. Um, I can't handle their lack of appreciation. I can't handle how they use me. I can't handle it. Won't handle it. I'm out. So, yeah. That's gonna happen soon. Um, and that's four weeks from tomorrow. My appointment. Four weeks from tomorrow. So, looking forward to that. Um, I am over seven months seizure-free. Going to be eight months seizure-free soon. Very soon. A couple more weeks. I will be eight months. So excited. So excited. And I... I'm looking for jobs left and right. Um, it's just hard to find a job in my field. A lot of people don't understand what I do for a living. I'm a buyer and an inventory manager, usually for distribution companies. Um, so what I do is if a company buys from OEMs, and OEM is an original equipment manufacturer. Um, so, so like, um, what can I think of? Target. Let's talk about Target. Oh, Target's my love. Love. Um, so, if I was a buyer for Target, I would sit in a giant office and sit at a desk and somebody would tell me I'm a buyer for um, bracelets, okay? I'm a jewelry buyer, all right? Let's pretend I'm a jewelry buyer for Target. What the hell? What I would do is I would go, contact all the distributors that Target buys from, whoever those are, whatever companies Target carries in jewelry, okay, and I would look at what they got, decide what I'm going to buy, decide how much I'm going to buy, decide where I'm going to ship it all. Meaning what states, what stores. Mm. And then I place purchase orders. And I bring in stock. And I stock the stores with jewelry. Okay? That's what purchase, that's what buyers do. That's what an inventory manager does. Once the stores are stocked, my job as an inventory manager, buyer inventory manager, is to watch the inventory. When the inventory gets too low, um, and that gets checked through analytical research, I buy more. Ta-da! That's what I do. So these jobs are not like, you know, 20 per company. They're, you know, one or two per company. I use Target as an example, but you know, working for Target would be like oh, home, would be amazing. Um, 
but you know there's like one or two a company there's not many there's really not many and it's only for companies that distribute so you know that limits it as well so I'm having a hard time finding a job um, having a rough streak we're having a rough streak right now but whatever Tristan makes me happy my friends make me happy I'm doing happy things and uh, it's funny I've never been in such a I've never been at such a high and such a low at the same time in my life it's weird it's a weird feeling never felt like this before so mm. alright I'm done rambling at you um, I love you I hope you guys are having an amazing week I hope your weekend rocked mine did I got to watch a bunch of naked people ride on bicycles if you're not friends with me on YouTube um, I posted that video on YouTube well I posted that video on YouTube and uh, it's a fucking rip um, if you guys, you know what, comment, if, if you're not friends with me on Facebook, comment below if you want me to post it on, uh, YouTube. I will, if you want me to. I won't do it until you guys tell me to, okay? Anyway, I love you. I hope you guys have a great week. Bye, guys.